There's a reason we were all sitting there nervous going into that game. And there was a reason we were all sitting there watching that second half squeaking. And United, unfortunately, lived up to, to an expectation nobody wanted to think was there to happen again. But it happened again. United failed to capitalise when a rival dropped points. And we did it in the most dramatic of fashions there with a late, late equaliser for Southampton. But it was coming in that second half. Was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wrong to make the subs to bring McTominay and James on? Or were just Fernandes and Greenwood exhausted? What happened to United there? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But we were 30 seconds away there from being two points ahead of Leicester and really being in control of that top four chase this season. Now, it's it's basically going to be a cup final against Leicester on the last day of the season. United-Leicester at Old Trafford, for me, it looks like it's whoever wins that game is going to get into the Champions League. And it's such a fucking shame that United didn't let the habit of the last few years come back to bite us in the arse again. Because we went 1-0 down there. Um, the first 15, 20 minutes, Southampton were all over United. And it was a. Uh, I expected us to be a little bit nervous. I expected Southampton to press very intensely. And they did exactly that. Paul Pogba, poor, poor from him. Decent goal from Southampton. Excellent pressing. But as soon as that happened, United turned, it, turned the game on its head in, in a few minutes. Two quick, quick goals. And United were in complete control. At that point, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, brilliant goals from United. And it was so quick and so immediate that you think, oh, fucking hell, United really are a little bit different. Instead of crumbling from going 1-0 down, we turn the screw and turn the game on its head. And for the rest of the first half, we're in total control. But we didn't get that third goal. Rashford with an unbelievable bit of footwork pass from Martial, great block from their defence. That was in the second half, I think, actually. In the second half, Martial, with that run the whole way through, we had chances, good, not to say galore, we certainly had chances to get that third goal. But in that second half, it, instead of really... I expected Southampton to come out and chase that equaliser a bit more than they did. They seemed to be confident in themselves that they were going to get their set pieces, they were going to get their chances, and they didn't have to leave too much space for us in behind. Had they done that, I think we would have exposed it a bit more. But Southampton, all credit to them for getting the result. But it leaves you with a really sick feeling. A really sick feeling that it's happened again. It's happened again. And it just didn't look like, well, in the first half, I did, the whole game, I'm not even really sure what to think. Because it's just a, it's just a lot of confusion. And as a, I'm a bit annoyed that, you know, I can't come into this match reaction and speak to you all and say, look, United really have turned the corner because the same thing has happened again. Solskjaer, I think, maybe took the decision to, to sit in shape and he put his faith in his defence to hold that out. A more Mourinho type thing to do. It didn't work. Brandon Williams going off with a bad looking head injury. I hope he's all right and nothing's bad has happened there. Left United with 10 men because we had used our three opportunities to make the subs, even though you can make five subs. I don't really know what that means, but surely that should change if it's an injury. I don't know. Surely Romeo should have got sent off in the first half. You can't ignore how disgusting that red that was, that was a red. It wasn't a red. VAR is just as useless as FFP. But United just failing to capitalise is that was the thing that that was our next, our most important point in this post lockdown set of games that we've had because we've beaten Sheffield United, we've beaten Brighton, we've beaten Aston Villa and Bournemouth. And some might say that we should be beating all of those teams. But this was a, a, a real opportunity for United to show their mettle in a game that had the pressure. Going into the game as a fan, as a United fan, you were nervous because the game had something riding on it. And that's what made it tense for the second half. That's what made it horrendously tense for the last 15 minutes. And that sick feeling in the pit of your stomach that United have taught us in the last five years is to unfortunately expect the worst and unfortunately United delivered on that today by dropping two points great cross by Ward Prowse Lindelof probably was he at fault he could have been in front of the man but maybe it was so close to goal it would have gone in anyway and up until that point I thought Lindelof had a very good game at centre-back but oh, for fuck's sake really that's all I can say sorry for swearing in this match reaction but I just 
thought that maybe this was different and maybe it still is going to be different and maybe we are going to finish top four this season and this is nothing, going to be nothing but a hyperbole reaction to the game. But just to see United there letting it slip again is a very frustrating thing because that's a habit that we just need to get rid of. When you've got someone like Marcia and Rashford, 42 goals between them this season, you've got a great team in the balance of Matic there with Pobre and Fernandes in front of him and just the excitement you can see there's reasons to be excited going forward, but equally so, you have to get rid of bad habits that have been built up. And that is a bad habit that has been built over the last five years that came back. And it came back badly. And once again, it's happened. That's where the focus will be. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will face criticism for his substitutions, I think. Even if, I mean, if you're taking Fernandez off, it goes to show you how tired the team was and is. That's why Pobble went off for Fred's, understood the substitutions. But United crumbled. Under the pressure, right towards the end. Will it bite us come the end of the season? I hope not, because that last game against Leicester is, well, we crumbled under the pressure today, but saying that Leicester crumbled under the pressure facing Bournemouth, who we pumped. So who knows what to expect in the Premier League? That's what the Premier League always does. But just I didn't want United to do that again today. But we did. And Anthony Martial's man of the match performance is now not the talking point. It's the frustrations of seeing the habits that haven't gone away. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new to United People's TV and you're still here. Is it Crystal Palace up next? Let's hope the same thing doesn't happen there. But I don't think it will. You know, I'm not, I'm not being completely negative because of the games that we've had before, but just old habits die hard, eh? Seeing it again tonight.